Hey guys, welcome to ecomhardy.com. This is Hardy Patel and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make or customize this login and registration forms uh, to more sweeter looking and user friendly. Also, how to add these custom fields like uh, username or first name, last name, mobile number, etc. on the registration form. So let's get started. Go to the WordPress admin dashboard simply go on the left hand side plugins and add new and search for the free plugin something like x o t i x zootix or login slash sign up pop up and this one will come up first so you can simply install now there are a few other uh, registration and form or customization plugins available but I would go with this one because I already tested this plugin and it's working really well. Good looking plugin plus free of cost. So you simply activate. Once you activate the plugin on the left hand side panel, it will start showing the login sign up pop up. Simply go to settings. By the way, without doing anything, if I go and uh, go to the front end and go to the my account page again or refresh. Yeah, this will change it to the default uh, customized the login and sign up form, which is nice. Now it has like two different, uh, you know, toggle on, on menus. So login and sign up. On the sign up, now you have email address. On top of that, we have first name, last name, password, and confirm password. You can also switch on and off. The passwords you can also accept the terms and services privacy policy let me click on that whether it takes me to the right one and yes it is taking me to the correct privacy policy page although uh, my privacy policy is not defined or the URL is not correct so I have to double check on that now you can customize this login and sign up form what you have to do is simply go back to your WordPress admin dashboard under the left hand side Login sign up pop up settings. Here uh, there are a few settings enable registration on, auto login user sign up on, handle reset password. Yes, the user role is customer. In your case, if you don't have WooCommerce website, if you have just WordPress blogging website, you can simply select the subscribers. Now, WooCommerce settings replace my account form. Yes, I want to replace it to this one also check out login form yes i want to replace everything is as it is prevent closing no i just auto open pop up you can toggle on and that will allow to pop up the login page if you want to see how simply save the changes and pause the cache and then go back to the front panel and if i refresh the page see it's now popping up so it looks really nice although uh, i don't like the pop-up i will stay with this sort of thing but it's up to you it's your choice okay now if i go back and uh, check all the other settings if i like okay go under the styles menu there is a form field style. I can manage the text color. I can also manage the overlay color, form color. So here, active tab, background color. I can change it to maybe purple, okay? I can even change the button background to purple and see how does it look like, okay? Save changes. If I go to the front end and refresh, now it looks a little fancier okay you can instead of this color you can use or choose your theme color which will match to your theme and it will look much better so once you finish choosing the color and save changes go to the advanced and here you can customize uh, the css code and that's it it's easy to use plugin at any time if you feel like you made a mistake or you want to reset to default settings you simply click on reset and it will ask you are you sure you want to reset to the settings yes okay and once you reset the settings if you go and refresh the page of the front end panel see it's 
went back to the default settings by the way if you want to change the privacy policy url like in the front end panel if i go to the privacy policy uh, let me go to the privacy policy i think it's not created yet but just imagine i have created the privacy policy something like privacy this policy this is the url for the privacy policy just imagine i simply copy the url okay and then if i go to the fields here okay under the fields if i go to the terms and condition tab and here you see it says terms and privacy policy thing uh href is equal to privacy policy target is blank instead of this underscore blank i will replace it to the desired privacy policy url okay and once i done that i simply save the changes and uh, if i purge the cache if i go to the front end and go to my account and under the sign up if i select privacy policy you now see it will still goes to the old url don't worry let me double check once you paste the privacy policy url under this section it will start working hope you enjoy watching this video guys please thumbs up if you like this video please comment me in the comment box below if you have any questions or suggestions please subscribe to my youtube channel for more amazing tech fix diy videos for wordpress and woocommerce also related to dropshipping until next time thanks for watching see you take care bye bye